Welcome to Adco Aviation. First off, I'd like to thank all those that sent me messages to check on my building and video progress. I just love the encouragement this building community gives. I know it's been a while since my last video. I'm going to try to get us caught up soon. On the third video, I ended with both wings assembled, but still needed the nose ribs. So I took my plexiglass pattern that I discussed in the last video and laid it on the plywood and marked out all the nose ribs. I then took it to the bandsaw and roughly cut them out a little larger than the marks. I then used sheetrock screws to screw several ribs together and used a router with a flush cutting trim bit. It has a roller that rolls along the plexiglass pattern and trims all ribs exactly the same. I lightly sanded them and used a Forstner bit to drill out all the lightning holes for all the ribs. I then made this jig to hold all the ribs so I could cut the notch for the leading edge stringer. I then took this rib filled jig to the radial arm saw and easily notched the nose of all the ribs. Next I began the aileron pivot blocks. The brass tube I told you about last video worked perfectly. I started by drilling the holes with a drill press in order to keep all holes square and then cut out the blocks. I first applied glue to the bottom of the block and around the brass tube and pressed the tube into the block and then into the aileron end rib. Once all the aileron end ribs dried, I trimmed off the tube and clamped them in place. I also glued the pivot blocks to the quarter inch rib stiffener. Once all these blocks dried, I clamped the aileron in position and used a quarter inch drill bit and the brass tube as a guide to properly drill out the pivot blocks so that everything would be perfectly in line. I took the plywood lightning holes scraps from the spars and a smaller hole saw and made a bunch of filler block circles. I figured out how many layers I needed for both sides and glued them together. I used a small bolt and a wing nut to clamp them together overnight. Once dried, I sanded the cylinder and then had clean looking spacers to keep the ailerons from sliding from side to side. Here you can see how it gives me a quarter inch gap between the aileron and the wing ribs. Next we get to build the ailerons. This is getting exciting. I added the plywood for the aileron spars, then glued on the doublers as per the plans. I also took this opportunity to glue in the diagonal cross braces for the ailerons. The next day, I flipped the wing over and repeated the same process for the bottom side of the aileron. It took this time to add the plywood on the end of all four ends of the wing to stiffen up those last two ribs. Okay, so now the glue is dried, it's time to cut the ailerons free. I cut all the ribs per the plans and the quarter inch out of the trailing edge. Remember the last video I stated I was going to glue plywood gussets to the bottom side of the diagonals. Here I'm showing how I had to beef up the rear spar in order to put plywood gussets along the bottom as well. I also added gussets to the front spars as well. I'll cover these up with the nose wrap too. More on that on the next video. Here I'm showing all the roughly cut nose ribs for the ailerons. I clamped them together where I then took them to the sander and sanded them all smooth. I then bore out the lightning holes to the whole bundle. Once they were all sanded and ready to install, I mixed up some more T88 and glued the nose ribs to both ailerons and the next day trimmed off the rib cap strips and was able to sand them smooth and get them ready to cover with plywood. Of course you know I had to install it in the wing and check for clearances and play with the working aileron. The next series of pictures shows how I closed up the wing at the aileron pocket by gluing the plywood strips on the top and bottom and filling the gaps with foam board. On the next video, I'll show you the leading edge and fuel tank prep. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it can answer some questions you may have or maybe even encourage you to start a build like this. 
If you want to start from the beginning of this build, I've placed a link to the playlist in the YouTube description. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll click the bell notification, you'll get a notice every time I upload another video. Thanks, happy building, and be safe.